Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Okay, today we are going to talk about logical division of ideas. Okay, this is our uh, sixth lecture in academic writing, chapter five. Okay, so let's start with the organization. In this chapter, you will learn how to organize a paragraph using the logical division of ideas. Okay, Pat. Uh, here we have a modal paragraph. This paragraph, we'll see how the writer divided the ideas, how he organized, he or she organized the ideas. For example, start with the first idea, okay? First, the first reason, okay? Divide the text into to list the reasons. Start for uh, the first reason, then the second reason, and then the third reason. So the text is organized to mention or to list reasons one after one. Okay, this is the logical division. So this is the text is divided according to logical division. Start with the reason from uh, the first reason, the second one, and the third one. So logical division of ideas is a pattern of organization in which you divide a topic in two points and discuss each point separately okay so divide the text uh, not only uh, to mention reason maybe points as here we see for example here we have simple topics you may mention reasons one after one or kinds kinds and what or types advantage disadvantage qualities all these things we can use them to list or to divide our text into uh, logical division so, uh, logical division is a, is a pattern of an organization in which uh, you divide a topic in two points and discuss each point separately. The modal paragraph that we have studied, the modal paragraph uses this pattern. You can use logical division to organize many kinds of topics, not only reasons, but maybe kinds of teachers, shoppers, uh, drivers, friends, and so on, okay? When you talk about, for example, type of kind of friends or type of books movies music and so on so you can divide your text logically okay when we uh, use this strategy which is logical division of orders we have to start with what begin a logical division paragraph with a topic sentence and topic sentence should be like this like one of these for example or to, or to form it in the, in, the, in the same way as it's appeared here. For example, a good boss has three qualities. Living in a college dormitory has several advantage. There are four main styles in Chinese food, and so on. Okay? This is for the beginning, for the uh, topic sentence. For the supporting sentences, you have to discuss each point separately, one after one. And you can use, for example, these the, the signal words, or phrases such as the first reason, the second type, the uh, final advantage, in addition, furthermore, and so on. You can use these signals to, to list or to move smoothly from one point to another. Then uh, support each point with uh, convincing details when you, of course, in the supporting sentences, you have to give sufficient uh, supporting on the sufficient details and examples to support your idea okay so uh, convincing to provide con convincing details such as in examples an example or a static a statist a statistics for example numbers cost amounts percentage and so on here we have an example for example they want to uh, to touch and feel fabrics and visualize themselves in clothes okay so to give in supporting sentences more examples, more details to support the main idea. And how to end uh, the uh, paragraph according to the logical division strategy, you have to end like this. With concluding sentence similar to one of these, for all these reasons, living in a home in the best is the best choice for me. To sum up, a champion has to be motivated, disciplined, and trained. Okay, 
So logical division that divide the uh, divide your text according to the ideas, according to the reasons, according to the type and kinds, and then you have to start with a topic sentence, supporting sentence, and concluding sentence. The another another important point here in this lecture is the coherence. We have talked about unity. That means unity means to to discuss one idea. Okay. So what about coherence? Uh, every good paragraph must have coherence. A coherent paragraph flows smoothly from beginning to end. A reader can flow can follow sorry your ideas easily because uh, one sentence lead naturally to the uh, to the next one. There are no sudden jumps. Okay, so coherence that means the reader will move smoothly or the ideas your ideas flow smoothly from from the beginning to the end of your paragraph and there's no jumps from one idea to another there are three main ways to make your paragraph coherent okay three three ways to make your uh, your text coherent use nouns and pronoun consistently throughout a paragraph use transition signals okay we will come to these and put your ideas into some kind of logical order using nouns this the first one one way to achieve coherence is to use nouns and pronouns consistently throughout a paragraph that is continue to use the same noun and pronoun you start with for example if you began with a plural noun such as students don't change to singular okay also don't change pronoun don't switch from you to they or he uh, for no reason be consistent if you use the pronoun you at the beginning of your paragraph keep it strong okay when you start for example with students your paragraph talk about students you can use for example the pronoun they them but not to jump to you or he or she without reason of course okay so you have to keep use the same noun or the same pronoun and to continue a paragraph with here we have an example so students have they they them and so on here are tips to help you use pronoun consistently how to use these pronoun consistently uh, tips and advice use a plural noun employees rather than a singular noun employee Okay, instead of using employee, and then you have to use, for example, he or she or you, so you have to start with the employees and then they. Okay, so employee must wear, here we have an example, awkward, the, it's not correct or it's difficult. So an employee must wear his or her uh, ID patch in all times, but you can say employees must wear their ID patch all times. So it's easier and it's more logical transition signals another way to give a paragraph coherent is to you uh, to use transition signals transition signals are words and phrases that connect the ideas in sentences with the idea in the another sentence these are the we use the transition words to connect ideas in the first sentence with the next sentence they are expressions such as first, second, third, furthermore, on the other hand, for example, and in conclusion. So these will connect ideas from uh, the ideas in the first sentence with the next sentence. Here a good explanation of this. Transition signals are like traffic signals, traffic signal, traffic light. Okay? They tell you, uh, tell the reader or tell your reader when to slow down turn around and stop using transition signals make your paragraph smoother smoother and hel uh, helps your reader understand it easily okay so they are important transition signals they are important to connect ideas in your sentences in the first sentence with the next sentence and also to flow smoothly from one idea from one sentence to another and also to help the reader to know when to stop, when to slow down, when to turn to the another idea. Okay, for example, here we have two paragraphs. 
The first one without transition signals, and the second one used transition transition signals. What are the transition signals used here? For example, first of all, for example, therefore, furthermore, for instance, on the other hand, uh, for instance, moreover, and so on. So here, paragraph two is easier to read and understand because the writer has used transition signals. Each transition signal shows the relationship of one idea to another. So these signals show the relationship from one idea or one idea to another. So they are very important to be used in the uh, in write in academic writing. Okay, why we use them? For example, first first of all, show what look for first main point. When you say first of all, so you have to state what is the first idea that you are going to talk about. For example, to state an example. Therefore, to give a result. Okay, furthermore or moreover, to uh, give or look for another similar idea. On the other hand, to give a contrasting or opposite idea and so on. Here we have these tables and they are very important to uh, memorize and to be able to use them. For example, to list ideas in time order. When you, when you, for example, you want to list your text or your ideas in time order, you have to use these. First, second, third, next, meanwhile, and these. And the first, I mean the first uh, table here. Uh, to list ideas in logical division, also you can use them first, second, first of all, furthermore, also, and so on. To add similar ideas similarly, Likewise, also, furthermore, okay, to add an opposite idea, an opposite muax, okay, on the other hand, however, and so on. To give an example, for example, for instance, or such as, to give a reason for, and so on. So you have to memorize these tables, they are very important and help you to make your writing very easy to read, very easy to understand. Following are some general uh, rules uh, for uh, for placing for placing and punctuating these transition signals. The words and the phrases in the sentences uh, connector in the sen sentence connector divided here in the table, okay, column, often come at the beginning of the of the sentence. Okay, so sentence connector come at the beginning of the sentence. They are usually by a comma. Exceptions, we have some exceptions. Now, soon, and then. They don't need comma after them, okay? So the, the sentence connector, they should be followed by comma. Uh, and we have exceptions, now, soon, and they, uh, and then. Okay, here we have, we have uh, examples. First of all, in short, then. Sentence connector can also come in the middle and at the end. So they are not only at the beginning of a sentence, but mainly, uh, uh, mainly they come at the beginning of the sentence, but they also come maybe at the middle or the, at the end of the sentence. We usually put, uh, not always, separate them from the rest of the sentence with a comma or commas. Okay, for example, some people, on the other hand, here we have to separate them. They should be preceded by a comma and followed by a comma. Okay, comma should be separated from the sentence when they come in the middle of the sentence. And also when they come at the end of the sentence. Here we have at the end of the sentence. And here, therefore, so should be preceded. Use the words in the coordinating conjunctions. Column to connect two simple sentences to make to make compound sentence. Also, we can use the coordinating conjunctions to connect simple sentences to make compound sentences. Here we have all the uh, needs are taken care of. So must uh, must do animals and healthy uh, and uh, contained. So we can use the uh, the coordinating con conjunctions to connect simple sentences to make compound sentences. 
three, the words in the other column are, the other column, the, the last one, are adjective and prepositions. They have no special punctuation. They have no special punctuation. You have to, to memorize them. Okay? الكلمات اللي موجودة بالحق الأخير They have no special punctuation. The first character of good uh, politician is, um, is called a public speaking. Another type of advertisement is uh, aimed at children. So these words have no uh, special punctuation. Now we come to the last point, which is run on and comma supplies. In chapter one, we have talked about a fragment or incomplete sentences. Today, we are going to talk about run ons and comma supplies. Run on and comma supplies, similar error. They are the same error. When both happen when you join sentences incorrectly. When we join con sentences incorrectly. When we write two sentences together, but incorrect. Uh, situation. A run on happen when you join two simple sentences without a comma and without a connecting word. For example, here we have men like to shop quickly, women like to browse. This sentence connected incorrectly, so this is run on. How to correct? Or here we, ha we have a comma supplies error happen when you join two simple sentences without with a comma alone okay here we have also it's in, incorrect when we separate these two sentences with a comma there are three ways three easy ways to correct run on and comma how to correct run on run ons and comma join the two sentences with a comma and a coordinating conjunction we have to add after the comma a coordinating conjunction Men like a shop, like to shop quickly, but women. So here we have comma and we add but. The second, uh, make two sentences separate. We can, we can separate them in two sentences. Okay, separate them with period. Okay, نقطة. Uh, men like to shop quickly. Period. Women like to browse. Okay, so it's okay. If you wish to show the relationship between the two sentences, you want to show, you want to, there's a relationship between the two sentences, add a sentence connector and a comma to the second sentence, okay? So here we have to add what? A sentence connector. Men like to shop quickly, however, okay? And here we have to what? So the, sen the first sentence end with a period, the second sentence start with the a sentence connector and should be followed by a comma. So correcting run-ons and comma supplies is relatively easy. So it's easy if we follow these um, uh, rules. Check all sentences that have a comma. So here you have to, to read and to, uh, because these are the important things that we have talked about. And here you have some examples about how to uh, to avoid run on and and the uh, comma supplies. Okay, here you have the rev uh, rev review or revision for what we have studied today. And today you also have no um, writing assignment because you are already busy with your reports. And I hope that you finish your reports today and send it to me. Thank you.